This unfortunately happens when few holds the keys of the entire music industry and what makes it in front of the people and what doesn't. And connected to this, there's another thing that happened, uh, which is uh, Nicki Minaj speaking about BTS, the band, which um, it's kind of known in the industry that they are and have been kind of blacklisted to some extent, even though they have gigantic numbers, they kind of have been snobbed and halted, right, in their growth. And Nikki released uh, an interesting video that I'm gonna play for you. The rules was to make it so that never in the history, again, would an artist, or in my case, two artists, if y'all remember what I'm talking about, who were being blackballed at the time, would be able to go number one. The purpose of these rules and it's not bashing, it's just telling you guys the truth. The purpose of these rules were to make sure that you as an artist will always be in need of radio. Let's stop right here. So what she's talking about is primarily BTS, right? And um, some say also herself, at least at the beginning. To artists that, like I said, they have been kind of blacklisted to, to some extent, but by the industry because they were not part of the clique, right? But BTS somehow, because they have such gigantic numbers, they have been able to make it to number one on Billboard. And what she's saying is the industry didn't like that. Didn't like that an outsider was able to do that without our approval, without being under us, under our control. And so what they did after that, of course they realized that there was a loophole on how you could chart on Billboard, what the rules were for an artist to be able to chart. And once this happened, they simply changed the rules. So that couldn't happen again. That's really bad. <laughs> so you see that every time that an outsider with pain and sweat and blood somehow makes it to, I don't even want to say beat the system, but get the success that they deserve. Either you play our game and you're under us or you're out. And if, well, but these were the rules. Well, it's fine. We are going to change the rules now. And you know what Nikki um, is saying right now, they made sure that you always need radio to chart on Billboard because before that, I think BTS were able to chart without the radio because of the huge numbers that they have either on streaming or sales, right? Which outperformed everybody else. And so they changed the rules because they controlled the radio. Another example is Tom McDonald. Shout out to him. He busted, he's, he busts his ass so much. He was able to achieve incredible things, huge success all on, on his own, like a one in a billion guy out there. And they kind of still cut his legs. You saw probably his videos on the billboard deal and the billboard ordeal, I want to say, that, you know, he was supposed to be on charts, but they just simply didn't let him because they didn't even have a system to count the sales of a completely independent artist, because even the independent artist's chart, it's not independent. If you look at Tom's video, you see that there's Disney artist on the independent chart. How a, <laughs> an artist signed by Disney is independent? You know, so in the independent chart, he, uh, Tom talked and tried to explain to Billboard and, and to the people that actually collect the data for Billboard, that those numbers were real. He gave access to his backend and he did like crazy things and, and accommodate all their requests and still didn't make it. I mean, yeah, I think at the end they gave him uh, like a spot, but it was more like, a, more like crumbs. And I'm pretty sure after that they changed the rules, just like Nikki is saying. Going on with Nikki. And so if we as a fan base, or, or let's say BTS as a fan base. I know you guys really saw, recently saw what happened with that. If every time we put out a song, we can do what we did with Say So or Trolls, then it takes the power out of certain people's hands and they don't like that. It's all about power here. It's all about power here. <laughs> That's what Nikki says, 
right? And she's right because she's in the industry deep and she probably doesn't like it, doesn't like to see certain things. Because I'm pretty sure she's probably friends with a lot of, you know, upcoming artists. And Nikki, Nikki, she's, she's a good person, you can tell. Uh, and she, she probably doesn't like it, you know? And um, that's her way to just put the word out there. And what she said is right. Fan bases have a lot of power. Fan bases have all the power. And like I said, it would be great if the entire music community came together, if artists supported each other, which does not happen enough. It just does not happen enough. Everybody is against everybody. In this industry, it's, it's a shame to see people that are your friend or your buddy or your bro or your collaborator or your supporter until they think that you're gonna do better than them. Because at that point, that's it. You wait for the backstab any day. And it's, it's just, I understand it's a competitive word, but I think people are not playing it smart because if artists came together and they support each other, they would have so much more power, probably more power or about equal power as the labels or the streaming services. And it doesn't happen. It, it just, it doesn't happen. Unfortunately, I don't see it happening. But hey, I'm putting out this video. Maybe we'll, you know, it will help some. <laughs> we'll see. I want to hear from you guys what you think in the comment down below on everything we talked about in this video. There's a lot to unfold, I think, and uh, and start a discussion. Uh, comments down below. Then, if you guys want me to talk more about music industry in general, any side road or any article that you find or see, just. Send me stuff and, you know, if you like this type of video, we're going to do more. Thank you for watching. Use a super thanks, support the channel, subscribe if you haven't already. Stay safe. See you next time.